Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Spade channel. Not all skills are to be used for MVP hunt, doing instance, endless tower or AFK farming. Some skills are better to be used for PvP during GBG and KVM. In this video, I'm going to show you the sniper skill set for PvP. Let's get right into it. In PvP or player vs player setting, Sniper is one of the core DPS dealer for dealing damage. However, not only Sniper need to have good DPS to help wipe out the opponent, Sniper should also need to have decent HP and defend as well, so that you will not be easily killed nonetheless. So first, I suggest that you make a new loadout for PvP. We will use different stat and skill set for PvP. Next, let's look at the main stat. Since the sniper is the DPS dealer in PvP, the dex should be put to max for damage. And after that, put the remaining skill point to Vit. Adding Vit will increase HP and physical defense. This will help you to sustain more damage that is received so you will not be killed easily. Next, let's look at the skill set. For Archer's skill, the Charge Arrow skill is useful in PvP for its stun effect. Increase the skill to level 9. On level 9, it can stun the enemy for 2 seconds. Increase the skill level further will not increase the stun duration. So Charge Arrow skill at level 9 is good enough. Put Owl's Eye, Vulture's Eye and Elemental Arrow skill to max. Owl's Eye skill will permanently increase the dex stat for damage. Vulture's Eye skill increases the auto attack and skill attack range. The Elemental Arrow skill can increase the skill damage for 10% and also have a chance to add Burn Debuff to Fire Arrow and Slow Debuff to Water Arrow. For the Hunter skill, put Improved Concentration skill to max. This skill increases further the dex stat and also some AG for attack speed. We do not need to put any skill point on Beast Ban skill. Focus Shot skill put to max. The Focus Shot skill will mark the target for 5 seconds once hit. At max level, the marked target will receive 15% more damage. Increase Fertility Mastery skill to level 5 to unlock Blitz Beat skill. Put 1 point on Blitz Beat skill. Increase Steel Crow skill to level 5 to unlock Falcon Assault skill. Put 1 point on Falcon Assault. We need the Blitz Beat and Falcon Assault skill for the Sniper skill next. For Sniper skill, increase Wind Walk skill to level 5 to unlock True Side skill. Put True Side skill to max. At max level, True Side skill increase all man stat by 10 points and also increase attack by 10% and crit damage by 50%. Ideally, you want to put the Wind Walk skill to max for movement speed and dodge, but if you do not have enough skill points, you can remain it at level 5. Next, put 1 point on Detect skill. Detect skill can reveal hidden enemy in 8 meter radius. This skill is especially used to counter the assassin that have the height skill for surprise attack. Level up the skill further do not increase the Detect skill duration, so 1 skill point is enough. Next, put Intimidation skill to max. Now, this skill is why we need the Falcon Blitz Beat and Falcon Assault skill. At max level, when using Blitz Beat and Falcon Assault skill, there is a 50% chance to stun the enemy for 3 seconds. 3 seconds stun duration is long enough to deal a lot of damage to the target. Next, put S Timer skill to 5 to unlock Wild Awakening skill. While Awakening skill at max level increase luck by 20 and chance to trigger Falcon Auto Attack by 20%. The Ash Timer skill at max level increases the attack by 5% and can be stacked up to 3 times. Ideally, you want to max both of these two skills, so your attack will be boosted by 15% when the Falcon Auto Attack is triggered. But if you do not have enough skill points, you can adjust the skill level as you see fit. Next, put multi-firing skill to level 5 to unlock the sharpshooting skill. 
multi-firing and sharpshooting skill have knockback effect, which is useful to keep your target at a distance, especially to the melee damage dealer opponent. If you have more skill points, consider to put the skill point on trap research skill. Trap research skill can increase INT stat, which will increase the falcon damage. As for the equipment, just use the equipment that you normally use. For card, you can consider to get the Ogon card that have 30% stun resistance for accessories and talisman. Having 3 Obon cards give you 90% stun resistance, which will tremendously help during PvP. The One Tail card is also a good choice for 30% freeze resistance. For headgear, you can consider to get the Mass Wielding Goblin card for 30% poison resistance, or the Eldo Willow card for 30% blind resistance. After all is set, let's look at some PvP sample gameplay at KBM and GBG that I have recorded.